Hello, welcome to Science with Mithul. In this session, we are going to discuss about microorganisms. We see a lot of organisms around us. Some organisms are bigger enough to see with naked eye, like an elephant, a cow, a banyan tree or a rose plant. But there are some other organisms which are not visible with naked eyes. We can see these organisms with the help of microscope. These tiny organisms are called microorganisms. These are also called microbes. Microbes were first observed by A. V. Leeuwenhoek under a microscope. Microorganisms can survive in all types of habitats or we can say they are present everywhere. They are present in air in water, in soil, in hot water streams, in glaciers, in volcanoes and inside the bodies of plants and animals. They are also present in various parts of human body. They are present in dead and decaying matter. Most of the microbes are harmful. Sorry, most of the microbes are harmless. Some are useful to us while others are harmful to us because they cause diseases. There are five types of microorganisms. The one is algae, second is fungi, third is protozoa, fourth type is bacteria and the fifth type of microorganisms is virus, bacteria. It was first observed by A. V. Leeuwenhoek. Bacteria are found almost everywhere. For example, they are present in air, they are present in water, they are present in soil, foodstuffs, sewage waste, dead and decaying matter and also in the bodies of plants and animals. The size of bacteria is from 0 0.2 to 100 microns. On the basis of shape, bacteria are of four types. First one is bacilli. These are rod shaped having one or more flagella. The examples are Lactobacillus and Pseudomonas. Second type of bacteria are Cocci. These are spherical shaped. Examples are Diplococcus and Streptococcus. The third type of bacteria are Vibrio and these are comma shaped. The examples are Vibrio cholerae. Fourth type of bacteria are Spirella and they are spiral shaped. The example is Trypano, Treponema. Gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Those bacteria who retain the gram stain are called gram positive bacteria and the other who don't retain the gram stain are called gram negative bacteria. As bacteria are useful to us, they are used to make curd, they are used in medicines, they are used to process leather, they are used in agriculture for nitrogen fixation, they are used in the preparation of wines and vinegars, they are used in rating of fibers. As bacteria are harmful to us, so they cause diseases in animals and plants, they spoil food and other eating stuffs, they spoil leather items, they spoil cloths, leather items and books. Algae. These are plant-like organisms having chlorophyll. Their body is not properly differentiated into stem, roots and leaves. They are found in salty and fresh water. Their size may be so tiny that it may be microscopic or they may be several meters long. Types of algae. First one is green algae. The examples, example is Spirogyra. Second type of algae is blue green algae and these are also called cyanobacteria. The example of blue green algae is Nostoc. The third type of algae is brown algae and the example is fucus. Fourth type of algae is red algae and the example is gelidium. Fifth type of algae is golden brown algae and the examples are diatoms. Uses of algae. Some algae are used as food. Some algae are used in industry. Some algae are used in agriculture and some are used in medicines. 
harm, harms of algae. Algae, when present in large scales in ponds, make the water unfit for human use. Some algae become poisonous when they die. Fungi. These are also plant-like organisms which do not possess chlorophyll. They have thallus-like body. They may be unicellular or multicellular. Fungi is generally found growing on stale bread, damp clothes, moss tree trunks and old shoes, etc. Fungi grow on dead and decaying matter. Their size varies from 5 to 10 microns to few centimeters. Types of fungi is These are tiny unicellular fungi having the size between 5 to 10 microns. Mildews these are unicellular fungi found on wheat and potatoes. These are parasitic in nature. Mushrooms. These are multicellular fungi having a length of many centimeters. They are found on damp soil, tree trunks and wood logs, etc. Molds. These are multicellular fungi ranging in size from 2 to 10 microns. These grow on stale bread, decaying fruits and old shoes, etc. Uses of fungi. Some fungi are used as food, some are used in agriculture, some are used in medicines and some other are used in industry also. Harms of fungi. They spoil food and they cause diseases in plants, animals and hum human beings. Protozoa. These are unicellular organisms. These are primitive organisms. The common examples are amoeba, Paramecium and Plasmodium, etc. These are found in fresh as well as marine water, in soil, in dead and decaying matter, and also in the bodies of plants and animals. Their size varies from 2 to 100 microns. Types of Protozoa There are four types of Protozoa. The first is Sarcodines. They move with the help of false foot or pseudopodium, the example is amoeba, ciliates. The second type of protozoa is ciliates, they have short thread-like structures for movement called cilia. Flagellates, they have long thread-like flagellum for movement, the example is trypanosoma, sporozoa. They have parasitic motor of, mode of nutrition and the example is plasmodium. Users of protozoa. They are the links in food chains. They are useful for research purposes. They help in the decomposition of organic matter. Harms of protozoa. They cause a variety of diseases in plants, animals and human beings. Virus. Viruses are smallest in size. They don't have cellular structure. They grow and multiply only inside the host. These are smallest of all microbes. Their size ranges between 0.15 to 0.2 microns. Viruses are present in the bodies of plants, animals and human beings. Users. They are used in medicines. They are used in research. They are helpful in cell research. Harms of viruses. They cause a number of diseases in plants, animals and human beings. Examples of viruses are TMB, tobacco, mosaic virus, which is a plant virus, while the other is HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, which is a, an animal virus. For more updates on video lessons, PowerPoint slides, live online tutoring in science, you can subscribe this channel or you can contact us by the given mods. Thank you. Have a nice day.